Hey guys, Ellen Woolbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia and welcome to my normal uh, weekly video. I have done um, a bonus video this week for you because it's the week that do we really know what the day of the week is between Christmas and New Year. Please apologise, hair wash day, it's wet, I'm here real life you know what you get with me hey my Jean. hey susan hey um glenda and linda thank you for joining live also hello to everyone catching me on the replay i do appreciate you watching my replays here on facebook and over on my youtube channel hey kathy hey pamela and deborah thank you all for joining um today i am pulling out series joining in on the action too um today i have grabbed out some brand new product um denise inspired me because i always do buy the kits so she said in a recent video and i have grabbed out the all-inclusive kit called hello dear friend now this is the all-inclusive kit it comes in a box hey Anne, thanks for watching comes in a box all-inclusive meaning block ink stamp set everything to make the cards and adhesive i um i may not use the adhesive in the box today but the adhesive is here you can give this as a gift as of the 5th of january to a friend and they can make the cards straight out of the box now there are a couple of reasons i really really love this kit one it has vellum, like, you know, vellum Ellen, I have been named, hey Margaret, um, and really pretty colours, including purple, so purple and vellum, you've got me, and it has copper foil on the vellum, so I am totally sold, so that, we're going to make one of each card today, and I will, I haven't... I've opened the kit and I've looked, but that's all I've done. That is all I've done, like nothing else. So we're kind of going to discover this kit together and make it. So it is a $56 kit in the new eh, mini January to June catalog. So as I said, it goes live on the 5th. I'm just getting in early, giving you a bit of a taste of what is in the catalogue. Um, and don't you worry, as of the 5th, I will do a catalogue walkthrough of both the mini catalogue and celebration where you earn free items. Now, I was just going to look. I'm pretty sure you make 16 cards, but I just want you make 12 cards three each of four designs so making 12 cards and you keep the stamp set the block the ink and you normally have extras which you can use on other projects uh, which is great and you get matching printed envelopes as well so i'm just going to leave i can't show you the inside of the catalog yet for legal uh, but I will show you the catalogue, but I'm leaving it open just as a reference uh, for me, just in case I lose my destructions um, during the live. Hey, Word, thanks for joining. Word has already, oops, Word has already played with this kit. Hey, Michelle. So, Word might be able to give us some pointers. Okay. So I have been very busily getting ahead of myself uh, with my 2021 birthday cards. I will give you a sneak peek. I'm going to share my photo tonight. These are, I've written all my January cards. I've also sent some of my January cards and I've got out my February and March cards and they are assigned to a person. They're just not written on. And then I have envelopes. Um, so I don't have enough birthday cards at the moment. So this sort of gives me a good thing of how many I need to make. And, um, I've put the labels in an envelope assigned to that month. So I'm being a bit 
bit organized I don't know where this is all coming from because I used to be very disorganized oh good I'm glad ah yes I always assume there are extras hey Janelle so um tell me what you've been getting up to while I set myself up please tell me what you've been getting up to during this I don't know what day it is period between Christmas and New Year welcome Amanda hello Miss Jo oh I'm you sure did Jo you are one of the in crowd and if you want to be a part of the in crowd and receive a birthday card from me shoot me a message and um, I will, I will send you a card in the mail. So all you have to do, give me your birthday, your name and address, and I'll do the rest. Hey Kay, thanks for joining. Um, now also, if this is your first time here, and you think you might enjoy what you're seeing, hey Norlinga, hey Leanne, um, make sure you follow and or subscribe depending on where you're watching me and that way you won't miss any notifications uh, okay it's not showing me live in my notifications so just give me a second here and I will get up my other screen because I can't read my phone while I craft I'd be uh, very special if I could do that but alas you've never been I've never been in the in crowd either I missed how you get yourself organized um I'm posting a photo tonight Joe um I I'll give you a quick look this is my birthday card organization so I have all my January cards written stamped everything ready to go and then my February and March cards the person has an envelope with a label on it. I've chosen a card for them, but I haven't written on it. So on the back of all my envelopes, I do put hashtag I'm bringing birthdays back, my return address, and this year they're getting a special stamp as well. So I do stamp my envelopes as well. I will try not to show this person's address and then in the back here I have envelopes for the additional months because I've run out of cards um, and they have the address labels in them in the assigned months so I have got all the way to June I have printed out the labels I did that while watching Bridgerton yesterday um people message me oh i have them in a spreadsheet joe i have them in a spreadsheet on my laptop i'll go turn off the light and i'll be back So Joe, it's nothing special, it's just a normal spreadsheet that I created. So I have a column with birthday, a column with Christmas, and a column with thinking of you, name, address, and that's about it. Yeah, name and address. So when I've printed out the label, the Christmas column gets an L, and when the card is done as in in the envelope sealed it gets a c and then when it's sent it gets an s uh, when you grow up you want to be like me that's so cute thanks norlinga for the love okay back to the task at hand i want to be like me when i grow up because this may not last all year Oh, Bridgerton, yes, loving it. I watched the whole series in like a day and a bit. So, yes, because everyone's been just hanging out here. So, yeah, although David and I, obviously, I'm doing work now. David's done a podcast this morning. I've also put on a load of washing, tied it up under the laundry sink. Uh, refilled some bottles in the bathroom, stacked the dishwash, put away the washing up, done more washing up and wiped down the kitchen. So this morning I have been fairly busy for someone who woke up at nine o'clock and didn't have a shower till after ten. Okay, that was my dad interrupting. He didn't know I was going live, so that's allowed. 
So this is the inside of my kit, not my box. Hey Kay, thanks for joining. Hey Linda, sorry for the interruption. Okay, now what I do with my stamps, my clear stamps, I always remove this floppy piece of plastic because I find it incredibly not useful. So I will grab an envelope or a card and show you the stamp set. So we have, hello dear friend, you make my heart smile, a day to remember, a little, just a little note, thank you, a flower and a leaf. So that is good, I like that. And just a closer look on the cards we're going to make when I get there. So hopefully I haven't got too much shine there because it is a bit of a dull day outside. So we have copper twine and more dimensionals because at the moment I'm using um, dimensionals from a kit. Um, I think it must be from the other kit. No, I don't want neither navy. I want misty moonlight. Okay, so we have the little misty moonlight. I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to use my big misty moonlight because I find it easier. We also have a block. So find the blocks useful for me and because I have my um, Charco Mari Tooth Peripheral Neuropathy, I find them a little thin. So I am going to grab out... So this is the same size as one of our D blocks. And I just find the ridges on our D blocks easier to work with. So that's nothing against the block in the kit. It's just my hands. Okay. Okay. So envelopes. Ooh, we have some long skinny cards. So what are the colours in this, in this kit? Let's start here. Colours in the kit, coordinating colours, coordinating colours, Crush Curry, Highland Heather, Mellow Mambo, Misty Moonlight, Old Olive, Shaded Spruce and White. Nice colour combo. Bright but soft because obviously we've used shades of. So we have lots of skinny envelopes. Oh, here are our glue dots with backing on them. You know, I'm not going to use those. They are way too fiddly for me in a video. And let's be honest, they're just fiddly for me in real life. Okay, so we have these larger envelopes as well that I'm going to pop it to the side. Just going to pop the base into the lid here. <laughs> Oh, that's very cool. Kmart is awesome in Australia. Oh, that is so cool, Word. So cool that you can rescue some things in cleaning up. I haven't started the cleanup. I think I did mention our toy room. Call it toy room. It's actually the boys' study is going to get a reorganise, but... They are not there yet. So they are two of the Highland Heather card bases. So they are our skinny cards. This is our vellum. I'm just going to lay out all of the pieces that we, we require on the card. So then we are all good to go. And then I will most likely put the bits in our medium clear envelopes like I did with the previous kit so then they're ready to rock and roll okay Ooh, I like this pre-printed one so you've got your leaves nice okay now I need my destructions because my destructions with the stamp set on it okay so on this card we on this card here we need the blue flower Whoop. 
don't bend the blue flower and if I was smart I would have put all these pieces together and seen if I can pop them out as one because hey smarter not harder and we're going to use this diamond shape vellum piece I'm going to pop this out because this wants to pop out so let's just pop them out and pop them to the side so we're going to use these pieces currently because I've been doing so much work with my hands this morning my hands don't want to work so this may be a fun card making experience okay oh no my fans on in here just for some air movement and everything wants to fly back out of the bin because on my list of things to do because it's bin day early tomorrow morning is empty all the bins and my parents have kindly because Christmas was down here have kindly lent us uh, their bin okay so that is card number one. Um, the stamping piece I'm going to leave in the, the bit. I'm just going to get out the other pieces. Okay, so that's card one. Oh, I've missed comments. Ah, that's a good idea, Deb. It's just me and those kinds of things are kind of not, yeah, not my jam. Okay, so we're going to use, I'm assuming, I'm assuming we're going to use this flower with our striped. And... We're going to use some leaves. Oh, and a leaf already came out. So two, four, six, eight. I might actually leave these in here because these are all together and they belong with one card. So that is that little card done. Hey, Barbara, thanks for joining. I can't remember if I just said hello to you, Barbara. So. I apologize if I said it twice if not you're gonna feel extra special so this one requires this pretty I don't know what shape is that an angled off rectangle I don't know if that shape has a name because if it does I don't know it these Pretty, pretty soft flowers. So this is shades of Melamambo, not necessarily actual Melamambo. Um, and then for this card, I think we've got lots of these yellows left over, if I am not mistaken. We need the pretty Highland Heather, the pretty soft Melamambo. So even though like Melamambo is really bright, you can use it in a watered down watercolour fashion and it does look really pretty. We've got lots of these yellow flowers left. It's going to be awesome to use as I like using yellow as a pop colour. And we have these nice full squares with the crazed we need a stamp like this we need a stamp like that that will be awesome and then we can use that in like every color that we wanted a polygon yes that sounds right cindy okay while we're on this page we might just start with this card so i'm going to pop that aside over here and going to grab my medium clear envelopes that I use endlessly and over and over so once one is empty I will pop it back to use for something else I do make sure that I send my cards 
in one of these medium clear envelopes. So, because you never know what's going to happen between me and you, uh, whether it's going to be raining, whether there's going to be a humongous storm. So, I like to know, and let's see, I like to know that, um, oh, the card's not going to fit in there, but the bits and bobs will. So, I can then look at the destructions and know that these pieces go with this card. Okay, so we do have, we have numbers here. I don't know if you can see. Now, the numbers correspond. Stamp sentiment, adhere, number two is adhere using dimensionals. Three is adhere using the glue dots and tie cord into a bow and adhere to back of label. And number five is wrap cord around vellum and tie in a bow. So, right, we can do this, girls. We can do this. Now, because my hands aren't going to do this zippery dippery do, maybe it will. Oh, I did. Yay, me! Because this isn't a bag, Ziploc bag to keep around. Just got to... I don't know how they get these things in here so well. Because I always struggle getting them out. Okay, I do have a little drawer that I keep them in. And I will grab out my continuing sheet of kit dimensionals. That I have left over great so this is going to be a thank you card and this is our sheet of copper um, copper lined sentiment pieces and I'm assuming we're going to be using one of these little ones now before I start doing anything going to rub my finger along all of these sentiments that we're going to be using to take off any of the film and there is there is like a film left on them that makes them repel um, the ink and it's just from manufacturing so you can use an eraser you can use your finger you can just clean them like you normally would but I just use my finger. Okay, take this thank you off and pick it up with my block. And I have the shakes, so this is going to be very, very interesting. Okay, now these, this sheet I don't require, but I am going to pop it in the bottom because these are my extras. So I said there are always extras. And if I did not get something out, I can always um, go back to it. Okay. So I'm going to... It is perfect for crafting. Ooh. Oh, no, you're not crafting, Jay. You're not downstairs crafting. That's no fun. I know there are quite a few ladies in the chat that already have this kit. So I do hope that they are crafting along with me. Okay. <laughs> Pray that I don't shake here. Oh, I move slightly. But do you know what? That close enough is good enough. Close enough is good enough. Okay. That is that one. Oh, am I grabbing two here? No, I'm only grabbing one. Okay. That is that. You do get two sheets of this, so you have plenty of labels to use another time. Okay. Now, I will need... I don't know how um, dry... My chamois is because I haven't put it in the wash yet and I have a load of 
towels in the machine right now. But it is damp enough to clean, but it's drying out rapidly. Ah, oh, nice. Your aunt is 70. It's a bit exciting. I don't know how I do, but my, my aunts are significantly younger than that. But alas, I am significantly younger than you, Cindy. But that doesn't matter because we are still awesome friends. Now, I do need the twine. And I can see the end. And I do need to tie a bow. Now, see how it's all tangled up like that? If you want it not to tangle up like that, you just run it under your nail with pressure and that straightens it out. Still a little bit, but it's nowhere near as bad as what it was and that was going to make it extremely hard to tie a bow. Let me try that once more for the dummies. All for me. Okay, that's better. No, no it's not. Okay, I can actually see my loop. I can grab that and pull. And I don't need it so very extremely long. Um, it sort of needs to come out at the top. So I think I shall pull this a little bit. And where are my ribbon scissors? These are old Stampin' Up! scissors. I'm sorry they're not available, but we do have our amazing um, paper snips. And I just dedicate a pair only to cutting... Um, ribbon or fabric so then because then they're not blunt because paper blunts um scissors just in case you didn't know your eldest aunt is close to 80 well you guys all know from recent pictures my great aunt is 80 so she was she was i mm, she was 40 no she yeah she was 41 when I was born there you go and all her children were already born so there's a significant age difference between her and my grandmother and there was there was an Ellen in between them but unfortunately she died um, at an extremely young age hence my name Hence my name. So I need, I'm just going to use normal glue dots. I, well, my aunt that is no longer with us, I don't know how old she'd be. She'd be 60. She would be 60. Yet yeah, she'd be 60. But she's no longer with us, sadly. And then my other aunt is only in her 50s. But she's a married aunt, not a blood aunt. Um, if I was my... So I'm using my silicone mat because I don't want to stick myself to my messy mat. But what I do want to do is... I think this is going to be better this way. I'm hoping this is going to work like I want it to. Uh, possibly not. We shall see. At least I'll have some copper bits hanging out. And pop one dimensional here. One dimensional here. Okay. Now, card base. Fold. Fold up. You probably to add to this kit could purchase a bone folder 
you can always use your finger but I just find a bone folder gives a really nice crisp edge love that pattern on it um, two. so I think I'm putting this on with dimensionals as well a very dimensional kind of card Ooh, so some PJ pants. Nice. And then do does Gus and M get some as well? So why the need to sew your own pajama pants, Jay? Just because you can and you're on holidays? Or are these for your upcoming thing and you just feel like you need some really comfy ones? Oh, ah, that is a really good idea. Now, I'm going to cut an edge just to support this, um, this leaf right there. Okay, we're good. My dish. Okay, and then we're going to pop this on the piece of vellum and then we will add adhesive to the vellum from there because then we won't have any vellum poking out uh, any adhesive sorry poking out on the vellum and being seen because that is never a good thing okay so pop this down approximately there doesn't really matter where as long as it's on there and then I'm going to grab my Seal Plus because it grabs much nicer. But remember, in the kit, it's all inclusive and you do have the glue dots. But we all know what I previously said. Just got a notification on my iPad. Ten bucks, it's Netflix. Because I finished a TV series. Okay, pop that down, and then the thank you. Oh, they will end up being on the same level. But I do wonder if I got another glue dot to make that really pop out the top. I think that would look awesome. Glue dots, because glue dots tell. You're telling her who's boss then. Okay. Backings off. This is this card. Almost done. I don't think I've missed any steps. How super uber simple is that? Love it. Love it. Okay. Try and get it approximately straight in some kind of fashion. It's not even. But guess what? It's on. I'm going to trim these tails. And that's card one done. And it's taken us 40 minutes to get here. Are we surprised? Ah, uh, no. Okay. Just trimmed those tails in my rubbish bin. Right, card one, done. Card two. I'm grabbing the pile when I get there. I'm like one card short. Okay, so this is a pile for card two. So we just need one of... Oh, what do we need? We need... One millimambo, one, one millimambo, one Highland Heather, one, what did we say? Mango Melody or Crushed Curry? I think it was Crushed Curry. Okay, and we need one of, one piece of vellum, one card base, and the rest can go in a bag. 
Oh, it was a news article. Okay, yes, this is from the new catalogue. Um, Shelley, it is on page six in the new catalogue. So we have two, we have an all-inclusive kit. We have a project kit where you buy the stamp set separately. And then on the page after, which will be page... Uh, it actually be page nine we have our product medley which is a cactus one so I've got both the kits but I did not purchase uh, the product medley just because cacti really aren't my jam but that's okay not everything has to appeal to everyone I like it but it's just not my kind of thing Okay, so let's pop this, oh, too many tools hanging around. Yes, handmade, Jamie, handmade, not hallmark. Okay, right. I'm going to just pop this card up here. What's the next one? You make my heart smile. So a lot, everything except the thank you sentiment are um, fairly generic, which is good. I like generic sentiments. Then I can use them for any purpose. So a lot of the birthday cards I am sending out aren't. Now I'm going to pop this on an angle and I'll show you why. Um, because I don't... Yeah, I just like multi-purpose cards and I can use it as thinking of you or anything. So the reason I'm putting this on an angle is so I can see the edges of the label and have more of an attempt to get this straight. And by the looks of it, we're popping this sentiment off to one side. So I do need to uh, pre-check that this is going to stamp beautifully which I can already see the ink uh, clung to that really really well hello Miss Myrtle ah yes I can see that being totally you Birch. okay oh god I've got it on the block so must not rock on to the rest oh Damn, sorry girls, and see my wet hair here. Oh, okay, right, 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 right. I do have plenty of labels, so we are going to try that again. There you go, second time lucky. That's why you have plenty of labels in here. So if you stuff up, you can just go again. is good they know us crafters way too well and know that we aren't perfect all the time okay so take this off the block pop it back on the sheet move the ink pad because that's a disaster waiting to happen right there no don't have any ink on my hands Okay, so I need to tie another bow. God help us. Just run my finger down. Another bow. Wish his tail would hang back. Or oh, the loop would hang back. That's better. Okay, I have that and pull. Great. That wasn't too painful. Okay, and snip. And pop that 
right over there flip this over we're putting it on the end where we're so popping it on this end which is easy done yes I know I could have used a stamper artist but where's the fun in that you've got to see me make mistakes but yes you if you want a perfect stamping could use the stamp writers. I was going for speed rather than going for preciseness. Okay, that when I lay it down will be all good. Oh, lovely. I like that. Sorry, my destructions are totally out of the screen here. I should put the destructions there for you. Okay, so what we are going to do is so i've stamped that i've done my bow oh that was meant to be around the vellum ah well we're not putting it around the vellum because that would be yeah that would spell disaster so you actually meant to tie that around the vellum but you know can't be perfect um and I'm thinking some of these are actually dimensional. So, card base to the side, stamp set to the side, bring this in here, this in here, my utility scissors. Right, let's get a moving along. Okay, so this is the bottom because these overlap. I'm looking at where they overlap the sentiment because the sentiment also is on dimensional so we don't want it like double height okay so the bottom is this side so I want it enough so it will be stable and I'm assuming I'm not going to put one on this one at all. I'm going to add it in at the end and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, and this one. So if you wanted to tie the um, copper twine all the way around, you certainly can. I just chose not to read the instructions. Hence why they're instructional, not law. Thank you, Myrtle. So do I. Yes, the leaves on the card base for this are beautiful. So I'll pop the card base up there. I love the variegated colour. I'm assuming one of our concept artists actually um, drew them. And then we colour correct them to our Stampin' Up! colours. So we do have true artists on our graphic design team roughly kind of there now I know I've got an ink smudge up there if I really and another really good addition to this kit would be our champagne rhinestones they would be gorgeous and these are extras that you can add on and especially in January and February, if you get up to $90, you can earn free product during celebration. So by adding on some rhinestones, which will coordinate perfectly with the copper, and by, um, what else did I suggest? There was something else that I suggested, and I can't remember, a bone folder. I did suggest a bone folder so by adding on those items to your $56 kit you get um, you get pretty close to your $90 and you've got yourself a free product a Winker Stella yes Jamie yes 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 uh, yes instructions are always suggestions we need to make our own path and do this our own way so this is going to go in here just like that and I can see 
now where to put a dimensional. So we're just going to add this to the card base and this one is also done. So uber quick, something you could do with coffee or a glass of wine with the girlfriend. I, um, Heidi, who quite often pops in here, we've put together kits over, um, over a chat which has always been fun so this stamp and seal plus works perfectly on the vellum the stamp and seal doesn't quite grab the vellum as well as the stamp and seal plus now that isn't straight lucky i have only tacked it down And I love that you can see those leaves through the vellum. So they're there. So all our adhesive is behind these bits. And I'm going to snip. I just need to snip one end this time. And that is perfect. Card number two. I'm in a bit of a pickle over here. Right, now we're back to our little card again. So back to this one and we're going to be using the leaves. So let's flip our optional instructions over and we've got this hello dear friend. So just need one of these and what did we say? Two of the leaves. Now, if these leaves really start to fall out, I can just pop them in um, pop them in a bag. So one of those medium. Oh, and you need to add the medium clear envelopes to your order as well. So these are things that you can all be adding to your wish list to purchase on the 5th. Okay. They go there. Um, I need a clear envelope. Exactly. We have done kits as well, Jamie. It's just been a while since we did a kit together. When I came up to your house, one of the many times, shall I? Of course, I drop the flowers almost onto the floor because that's how I roll now did we say these are going to fit no they are exactly the width of that but that's okay they're in there they're safe we're not going to lose them no you're okay cool. yes and the silicon mat I love my silicon mat I use it all the time you girls see me grab it out and it's especially good to use with our clear stamps because it gives you that extra bit of cushion to get a great impression so I have one to set my stamp and cut and emboss machine on and I also have one um, to I so one just sits folded up in the handle of my stamp and cut and emboss machine and one sits with my stamp cleaners um which label do i use for this one i use the big one Ooh, fancy hello dear friend right we will grab our paper once again and test it first test first now these kits are also give you great suggestions of backgrounds that you can make to go with your cards so you've got a bit of a watercolor wash on them you've got some stripes you've got some leaves so these are things that we can do on the background of our cards to then uh, finish a project so that d isn't perfect but it's good enough is close enough. Okay. Let me just. That, yeah, that wasn't totally clean. Flip it over. That 
that is now clean. Okay, right. Put this back on the sheet. And of course you can, um, there are, we're only doing four designs. And this has two, four, five stamps. So just a little note we won't be using. So you've got extra sentiments and then you've got the leaf stamp and the flower stamp additional that we don't use in any of these projects. So we don't use any copper twine on this. So this is the most simple card. Okay, fold. We do use dimensionals though. Dimensionals are the bomb. They just create interest without um, without anything extra, which I always find great. Yes. Yes, I used it under my hot glue. I did need to make a repair to a Christmas decoration on Christmas Eve. And my hot glue gun um, used it and you could. I don't know whether this would be big enough for a, um, a hair straightener though, Jay. I'm not totally sure. Now, I want this card front to close. So I just have a wrapped up piece of uh, low tack tape that I use all the time and I'm just going to close that up just so it's not flinging open it's not perfectly closed but as we say close enough is good enough glue dots are hiding over here oh they want to get of course they want to get out of the rain Jamie who wants to be in the rain on a day like this David will have to be when taking garbage over to mum's but we went to the shops yesterday so I don't think we actually need to do anything which is good because I'm in leggings so I'm not wearing in my nice leggings and I'm just having a comfy comfy day so that's one leaf So this is where you'd use the dots in the kit, but you don't need to see me fiddling, taking the backing off. Um, I'm not, I'm doing enough to tack them down and they won't move, I promise. Okay, so that's those two. Then we're going to put this on the top and I'm going to leave the flower to last so then I know where to actually put the dimensional um, so it won't um, impede where I put it like what I did last time I'll just slide the uh, dimensional under and put like a glue dot on the top so we have this pretty high Oh, that looks pretty good and then this one goes down there perfect I like this one super simple no twine not that I, I don't mind ribbon and all of that I just find doing it under pressure is not always so easy okay I've got that I will grab a dimensional I shall take off the backing so we're sticky on both sides and then I will just I might even use two you know so put one one side and then put Helps if the dimensional sticks to your scissors, doesn't it? I don't want it to totally stick, but I don't want it to fly off. 
So, would you like me to come on and make some more birthday cards? Because you know that's card three. Pretty cute, special. I like how this looks like black, but it's not black. But it's dark enough to make it pop in the uh, misty moonlight. Okay, card four. Yes, exactly. They are divas. Hello, Miss Delinda. You're popping in just in time for card number four. So you will have to go back and watch the replay. And I think this afternoon I have a bit of computer work to do. Non-Stampin' Up! related, family related. And I just need to put my dining room table back together because on Christmas Day we got gravy and etc. over the um over the my white base table runner. So I need to put my decorations back in order. So this has your beautiful crushed curry wash and then the stamping or the printing of that. But you could recreate this background very easily using um, stamp sets. So love that. Give this a fold. And I need a bow again behind this label. So... We might tie the bow, then do the stamping and assembling. How am I going? I've just been on an hour and there was a bit of chit chat in the start. So doing good. And you know, I don't super rush for you girls either because that's when I make silly mistakes. Oh. Loop just ran away on me. Okay, right. So I won't be back tomorrow because we have friends coming to visit and we're going out for lunch, but I'll be back on my normal Thursday and then we shall see from there. What's so I'll be back two days in a row. I'll also be on on Friday to... Oh no, Friday isn't the catalogue walkthrough. That's on the 5th. But I shall see what we shall see because oh, I do have birthday cards to make. Um, and I'm still wanting to use a lot of my um, DSP. So... Oh, Are they under the awning, Jay? I did, um, we, we did our sheets yesterday, so it was nice to um, go to bed with fresh, clean sheets last night. And then they're instantly dirty again. But, you know, I like the smell. Struggling with this one, girls. It's not being kind. There's no particular reason why I'm struggling either. Uh, and pull right. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. And snip. There is going to be so much of this twine left over, which makes me very happy. Ah, awesome. Very good. Look, my kids aren't wearing many clo much clothes at the moment. So, winning, that makes me happy. Um, so, there isn't much washing. But, of course, I'm wearing clothes. They're just slopping around. A day to remember. Hey, Lorraine. Thanks for joining just making my fourth card from this soon to be released um, all inclusive card kit. Um, is this the one we're using? Oh, no, that's. Uh, I'm thinking I am using this one. That looks right from there to there. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. 
Okay, ink. Try first. We all learn from Denise's mistakes of the other day. Try first, then stamp. And don't get ink on the block like I did last time. Okay. I do, no, I don't need to do anything special. Hold it and up and I am happy. I could have had it a bit further down, but you know, it's stamped. It looks good. Don't complain. The person who receives it shall not complain. I know that. Okay. So. Done, done, done. Pop that back on there. Pop this back in the box because we don't need it anymore. And I will also pop this back in the box because I'm done with our labels. Now, I have this here. I think I have everything. And do you know what I'm also going to be smart and do? Close the ink pad because I'm finished. But you do get an ink spot in here because it's all inclusive. Just I prefer to keep those to give away. Okay, so we're wanting dimensionals on this. Don't need that anymore. Okay. Looks like I've used so many dimensionals on this project, doesn't it? But I actually haven't. This is just from the Joy to the World kit. Okay, so I need a glue dot. And I'll need to remove the excess. So it's approximately in the middle. And then this goes off on a jaunty, on a jaunty angle. Just like that. Okay, jaunty angle dimensionals. We're doing well. So, uh, ink, ink spots are great for traveling. Um, Jay, so with the size of these silica mats, they're awesome for crops. So, who didn't necessarily like this kit that now needs it in their life while we're finishing up this card because i was pretty you know it's nice but i really really like it after playing with it really really like it so i'm just taking one dimensional off and then i will take the other dimensional off later when I'm attaching this properly to the card. Okay. One dimensional down. Ah, uh, I put this on the wrong jaunty angle. Wonder if I can change it. I can change it. Woohoo, go me. Changing my jaunty angles. Okay. Now take this uh, yes they do um, yes the wider well we've only we haven't got the wider big ones we've only got the wider half size at the moment um, they discontinued the wider full size um, cases so I can check the catalogue and double check what is available. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Yes, perfect. 
hide our adhesive behind the flower and I must remember to take this off. I don't think that's straight, but anyway, we'll fix it in a sec. It is actually. Yeah, not bad. Considering I did that upside down, I'm impressed. Okay, that's enough to tack that down. sticking to my fingers which is a good thing but we want it to stick to the card more so than it's sticking to my fingers try and roughly center it oh I have pulled that loop out big time but I'm happy with that and that is that one done as I suggested you could use um, you could use our um, our rhinestones as an extra. I would possibly add some under there. Um, you could add those as an added extra embellishment to complement um, the copper foil that is already in there. But that is our full cards made. So what I have done, I have placed for each project the um, items that we used in that project in one of our medium clear envelopes um, I didn't add the I added extra adhesive for the fact that that adhesive is easier for me to use um, but you do get a full sheet of dimensionals and you get your mini glue dots uh, we already spoke about the block and I've put the block somewhere girls no and you get your block for your stamps and that is the same size as what I have used I just prefer the glues and everything goes back in this box really nicely and you even also get pre-printed envelopes in old olive so you get your large envelopes for the large cards and you get your skinny envelopes for our little cards so then they are ready to post out in the mail um, just let me pop some things away and I will lay this out for you to look at so these are that one just does not want to stay there. I have not added anything extra to these cards. Did you want to see any of the cards closer up? I might show them to you a bit closer up before I finish. So this was our first card. A little thank you card. I think that's sweet, but only because I love purple. This was our second card. You make me smile. I love the flowers on that. As Jamie suggested, Wing Costella would work really well on all of these flowers, as would the champagne rhinestones, just to elevate them, but they are pretty as is. Yes, you could, but it comes in a box. So you corral them all in there and you're all good. And that's the ink spot. I just saw it out the corner of my eye. This and this is our last card. So gives you some great ideas. You could do these stripes with our stamp and write markers, and you can use um, you can make all these backgrounds in different ways. The second card is your fave. So that is all four. These little ones just don't want to close. So just as a reminder, this kit is available on the uh, 5th of January. We do have other kits in our main catalogue. 
um, that are available to purchase. Yes, I use these all the time when I go to karate or to swimming and I'm making a project there. Um, I often corral my um, supplies in the box and just take the box to use. They are bright and cheery, Susan. That's exactly right. Yes, you may need to add this to your wish list, Margine, but I want to thank you all for joining. I'll be back on Thursday uh, with my normal card making day. And then who knows? I'm on holidays till the 11th. Um, uh, yes, it's not too bad. It's a bit, no, it's pretty, it's pretty sturdy, you know. It would make a good surface. Um, yeah, and who knows after Thursday. I am on holidays, so yeah, lots of crafting, getting ahead, and um, playing with my new products so then I can share things with you. So thank you so much. Any questions, uh, please ask. I do have the link to my shop um, in the description, uh, but just as a reminder, this isn't available to the 5th. What are you trying to say, Delinda? That's hilarious. Two dogs friends. Yes, I will be, I'll be back on New Year's Eve. Toodles. <laughs> Maybe that autocorrect is bad, Linda. I blame it all the time. As Jamie says, toodles. And I will catch you in a few days. Have a lovely between Christmas and New Year and we will talk soon. Bye.